So this first story is a bit of a tongue twister. A Nobel laureate scientist's sexist remarks led to his resignation. Mm. Can I get a round of applause, please? I made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get to this. British biochemist Tim Hunt, who self-proclaimed as a chauvinist at the World Conference of Science Journalists in Seoul, South Korea, also had this to say. Let me tell you about my trouble with girls. Three things happen when they are in the lab. You fall in love with them, they fall in love with you, and when you criticize them, they cry. Okay. So this was actually, these remarks were made to a room of female scientists and science journalists. So mm -hmm. you can imagine how that might have been received. Mm -hmm. One of these science journalists uh, was Connie St. Louis, who blew up his spot by tweeting about these remarks and, and asking, really, does this Nobel laureate think we are still in Victorian times? Mm -hmm. um, he was taken to task. Uh, a lot of people distanced themselves from him. The Royal Society, he's a fellow there. And he had to resign, and he had these remarks in response to the brouhaha. I'm very sorry that what I thought were lighthearted, ironic remarks were taken so seriously, and I'm very sorry if people took offense. I certainly did not mean to demean women, but rather be honest about my own shortcomings. Mm. He advocated for same-sex labs, essentially, because he didn't want to stand in the way of women. So, uh, he, okay. could not, he could theoretically not ask them out, or not start a relationship I with mean, them. And that, that's, that's one possibility that you could go. I, look, in his, in his ap apology, I guess, where he said, I was just trying to make clear of my own shortcomings, normally when someone says something like that, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care about the context you want to put on it. We know what you were trying to do. But in this case, he was speaking to a room full of women. It wasn't like he was with a couple of his guy buddies and he was like, hey, mm -hmm. hey, you know how it is. So I, I buy that he was trying to show his shortcomings. It just might be that when you reveal your shortcomings, sometimes they are found to be unacceptable when you are literally running a scientific lab where people's advancement could very well be dependent on your judgment of them. And so I appreciate his honesty, but yeah, I can understand why some women would feel uncomfortable having to work with him in the future when he makes clear that his romantic attachments to them could determine if they proceed or not. So he, I think what, I think um, upset women the most was when he said that if you criticize them, they cry, which that really, that pissed off my wife. She was up sobbing all night about it. And, um, <laughs> but I'm so yeah, this boy. guy, Tim Hunt, he's, well, he comes from, a, he had a hard life because, well, his brother is Mike, and um, <laughs> they got in a lot of fights in school, uh, <laughs> people teasing him. No, I No, I actually thought that he was kidding when he said that. And then I find out he said it in front of a room full of women. So it does sound like I know, but it does sound like he was kidding. It does because, you know, this is reminds me of Lenny Bruce when they brought him to trial. The prosecutor's reading his jokes. He goes, He's ruining my fucking jokes. You can't <laughs> let him read them. I'll do the jokes. And so that's what it feels Taken like. Taken out of context. Yes, it feels like he was probably in front of a group full of women, you can't have women. Mm -hmm. So he's advocating for same-sex labs. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no. yes. He. I mean, the thing is that he sort of elaborated on these ideas. And then he could have said, oh, this was taken out of context, or I was joking, but he didn't say that. He just said he didn't... He, I didn't he mean, said I was trying to show my vulnerability, vulnerability. or my own shortcomings. Right. So he's not saying that women make it so that you need to have uh, segregated labs because of what they do. It's... I just, I can't help myself, so I can't be around women. But that equates to the same thing. Your lab is no longer an open place for female scientists to work. I, here's the thing also, as I'm like, this man is um, 72 years old, and I'm just like, okay, are you sort of, I get that you focus on biochemistry, but are you overestimating your own sexual chemistry in the lab, my mm -hmm. friend? Because what are you brewing up? Love potion number nine? Because this is a little, I, I'm just like, how often is this happening you to you? Apparently a lot. So you don't think a Nobel Prize winner is getting a lot thrown his way? <laughs> You're right. I don't, the dynamic in a lab when you have he's the guy, a Nobel he's, Prize, he, you know. He, had, he discovered the protein for cell division, for Christ's sake. I, my legs are spreading. Yeah, you're like, you, let me. Cell woo, division, leg you division. You want to give him some protein. That's right. Oh, sorry, sorry. Wow. God. I, wow, Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy's happy. You like that? His that legs is, spread just a little bit more right good, there. This I one. mean, I'm trying. Yeah. But I, I just have to say that I will give him a little bit of the benefit of doubt, and I, and I don't know if this is fair, but because of his age, sometimes, like with your grandparents, they'll say things that you're like, oh my uh -huh. God, that is so antiquated and old yeah. school, but they were raised and inculcated in a certain culture. And I imagine him, when he was coming up through the ranks of science, stuff that came out of his mouth was allowed, 
and would to is totally out of place in today's yeah. environment. I would hope that he's evolved and, and could see as a scientist, as a as an extremely intelligent man, that yeah. these kind of remarks are completely out of out of order. But I don't know. Sometimes I'm like the old man defense. Is that? Mm -hmm. Do you? What do you think? Well, I think this proves that dying is easy, comedy is hard. Uh. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. You're still like, man, his jokes just fell really flat. And that, yeah, I, that's what I. And you know, he should have said that he was always crying. You know, and he he should have yeah. said that. Saying women are always crying. That oh, to a group just of women. That, how a that, joke hinges on a. No, that, he should have said it. So he should have made a twist on that part, right? Mm -hmm. Or they'll, you know, or they always see me crying. He should have said that. That would have worked to his favor. But saying that, you know, a stereotypical thing about women, uh, that's not smart. Yeah. yeah, so keep your day job. Oh, wait, you can't. You can't. That's, <laughs> you know, that's the thing um, is but, this man, I mean, a Nobel Prize winner has lost his job because of I know. these comments. I mean, it, it is no laughing career. matter. I, I, it's, I don't know, it kind of is. His, it should be, though. <laughs> like, if they want to take his job away, like, apparently he didn't have tenure. They're able to do that wh wherever mm -hmm. this is. But I do think that his actions should be evaluated. Was he running a lab where women couldn't get ahead? Was he, was he mm -hmm. sexually harassing? Was he doing all these things? Because if he had these internal beliefs, but he wasn't acting on them, in that case, I don't think that you should throw him under the bus. I think that actions are more important than words. Um, and, and also, I don't... And this like, is at science. The end of the day, it's about results. It's about exactly. data yes. or data. No, Sorry. I said, if he wants to be a real scientist, he needs to start dating the men in his lab and see if they cry afterward. <laughs> But also, I, I don't think, does anybody believe that he's wrong? Not about women specifically, but this is why we say that you shouldn't date people in your workplace. Yeah. Because it ruins the colleague on colleague. Like, normally you would be able to give feedback and criticize, right. but when you're romantically linked with someone, they can't take it anymore because you get so much of yourself wrapped up in it. So it's not that he's wrong, it's that he said it in an absolutely terrible way, and he shouldn't yes. have been getting involved with the women in his lab in the first place. So... You're saying that sexual relationships on the job complicate things? Mm -hmm. hmm. That I is am. weird. Well, I'm staying clear of that. Weird thing. Thanks for the <laughs> advice, Johnny. Yeah. yeah.